Thanks for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Um, going to be having a, another beer out of a can. You know I like the cans. Uh, this one's by Two Brothers Artisan Brewing. They're out of Warrenville, Illinois. This beer in particular is called Night Cat, and it is a hoppy wheat, as you can see. Yes, Night Cat hoppy wheat. We've got that little swirly thing there, whatever. Crack this sucker open. So I'm assuming this will basically taste like a wheat beer with more hops than you're typically expecting from a wheat beer. Ooh. Mm. So, right off the bat, it looks a lot darker than I was assuming it would be. Uh, when you say wheat at all, you're thinking very yellow straw type coloration. This is very dark. This looks more of like a um, like a darker style uh, Belgian wheat. You know, those styles, like a dark... Franciscan or something like that. So, um, but other than that, I mean, you can see right through it. It's just darker. Smells hoppy. Smells wheaty. Very nice citrusy aroma in that hoppy aspect. A um, hmm. little bit, a little grapefruity. Some tropicality to it. Just based on the smell, um, other than that little bit of like, you know, the weedy nose to it, if you take the weedy nose away, it would definitely just smell exactly like a straight up IPA. I'm going to be honest, the hop presence is significantly more than I thought it was going to be. A lot of these hoppy wheat beers, you know, it's, it's some hops, it's hoppier, but it's not like crazy amounts of hops. This smells like it's kind of a lot of hops. So let's see. Very different from what it smells like. The mouth is like it's almost nothing there, honestly. Um, I get a bunch of that kind of citrusy flavor up front with a little bit of, um, a little bit of like a bittering rind type flavor too. Get the weedy flavor, but all flavors fall off my tongue very fast. It is very watery as a beer, which you know with wheat beers. You never expect them to be like in your face and real thick and like lingering on your tongue a whole lot. But with this one, it, it is even more watery than I would expect from a wheat beer. Um, I don't think I'm big on it, to be honest, just because of that aspect. And because everything falls off so fast, I don't have a whole lot of like good flavor sticking around. It's mainly just some bitterness hanging out and it's not even much of anything. Um, I would say because it is so watery, it would make it extremely sessionable as people say, so you could drink a lot of it, which speaking of that, it's 5.8% alcohol by volume. So, you know, it's low. So you could sip this and get a little bit of flavor, but I'm going to be honest, I'd like a lot more flavor. I want things to kind of hang out. So not that impressed with it. Sorry, two brothers. I would not recommend this beer to anyone, but well, I mean, okay. I won't say not to anyone. If you liked what you heard, then go ahead and check it out. I would not get it again, so put it that way. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Please check out the regular podcast. It's just BrutalBattle.com. You can listen to it there or on iTunes or Stitcher. Um, also, spread the word if you like it um, about these videos and about the podcast itself. And if you have any suggestions, you want to see me drink anything in particular, or you want to hear me talk about a certain topic, or just give you a shout-out, you can uh, send an email to BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Thanks so much, everyone, and go get yourself an awesome beer.